never thought that we would end like this I can't believe it's over or the things I've missed I thought that everything was gonna be different and all that happened made me a new man why can't you take me the way that I am? Don't give up, stick with her Don't leave me here in the dark Take my hand and pull me through Don't give up on me yet. Welcome to Ride Along, everybody. Doing a family event today. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so welcome to Ride Along. Uh, fun show today. I'm we're out on a family ride. That's uh, T in front of me with Jay on the back, my daughter. So we're heading to the UMC, the Utah Motor Park, Motor, okay, wait, Utah Motorsports Campus. Yeah, Utah Motorsports Campus. Because it is our favorite weekend there. It is the Vintage GP. Bonneville Vintage GP, I'll put a link up in the thing. And this is one of my favorite motorcycle events of the summer. It's also conveniently like 10 miles from my home, so that makes it nice. Um, all right, so yeah, so we're heading over to the to, to the raceway, and um, actually, if I get there in time, which may get kind of close here, but if I get there in time, I'll be able to donate ten dollars and ride around the track. All right, so we had to do a funds check there, make sure we had the money to go. This is uh, the Bonneville Vintage GP is what it's called. It comes here every year in September, and we love going to it. We really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's all these old bikes, and especially at, at noon today, I'll, I'll definitely try to take some footage, but at noon today, we're going to have uh, the sidecars, which are really cool. And um, the two things that I love, for, love it, really love it for. No, go ahead. I'm talking for the vlog. I'm talking for the vlog. So anyway, yeah, we're heading over to the UMC. It's a uh, beautiful day. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing some races today. Especially the sidecar races. Like I say, those are just crazy nuts. These guys are crazy. So you'll have to check it out. I'm glad you came along. Let's go. I don't have a lot to talk about this week. I've, uh, I've had a couple weird weeks. Over the last couple of weeks have been kind of melancholy and different and sad and uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going through right now, you know. <laughs> I uh, I used to try to hide it like most people do and I just, uh, I've gotten to a point where it's just like, listen, I, I, I deal with this stuff, you know. I have depression, I have anxiety, I have bipolar stuff and I don't. I can't make excuses over and over and over again. I can't try to hide it. I don't want to. I, 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 this is who I am. I'm an emotionally wrecked person. <laughs> but at least I'm, you know, honest with it. At least I'm open with it. That's what I try anyway. Why can't you take me the way that I am?
This has got to be one of the coolest events. I can't tell you how I feel as I walk among these bikes from a bygone era. Then a few yards down, the USBA, the Utah Sports Bike Association, is having their races. So in one small place, you can see races from so many different times. Before the races begin, they give anyone the wonderful opportunity to ride the East Race Track, donate $10 to the Hope House, and you get to roll the track. After that, there are races galore, sidecars, old bikes, new bikes. So, I've decided that this will be my last ride along. For those of you who have come along, thanks for riding with me. There are many factors in this decision, but I think for my own inner peace, I will need to let this show go.
Again, thanks for riding along with me, and I hope you get out there and go. Hey,